Okay, seems like we have one of our tractors blocked by what? Where are you? Oh. Okay, so you decided to come out this way, hey? Which is fine, it's not a problem. Anyway, welcome to Court Bailaron. A different, uh, same day, same in game day, uh, different job for now, and that is we will be collecting and making bales. I'm not quite sure if this tractor is up to making bales or not. We will quickly find out. If not, we will quickly change it and uh, yeah, get one of our bigger tractors onto the job. You know what, actually? Uh, I think it's better that I get a bigger tractor onto the job. But we haven't used this tractor. All right, now let's head along, hey? So even though I started with grass uh, in FS22, it changes it to whatever you are doing new. So it's not like in FS19 that the first bale started with grass. Grass comes out even if you put something else in it. In FS22, it seems like they've done away with that. And now the bale changes. So as you can see, straw comes out not grass and as i'm doing that i'm missing some but that's fine you have to be pretty much in the center of it otherwise you miss some of it as you can see i'm already missing some of it um, i don't think i will come and collect it whatever is missed is missed bad luck type of thing uh, I see it in real life, even people that make their money from hay, they don't go back and collect every little bit of uh, hay or grass or whatever they're baling. So I will do the same. Not unless, you know, we're at the very last bale and we're up to like 7,000 something and we might be able to sort of... Uh, you know, if we gather some of the bits and pieces, we'll finish a bale type of thing. But other than that, it's going to stay wherever it is. Now, I probably should have put the case tractor onto this, so that we will have a better, you know, case-case combination. But, hey, that's fine. Alright, I won't bore you with me chitty-chatting over this. I will do a bit of a time-lapse. just about managed to get it spot on and I say just about because as you see there's like 26 liters in there extra and 
get the mulcher I think we need to mulch that field now I am going to do this from, from the center over here and I'm going to see in which direction does it go so we're gonna put you onto it after all it probably would work better anyway because it'd be less compacting of the soil here apparently there is a collectible somewhere here so when we come back we will come back that way and stop and have a look around after all fifty thousand dollars if we find it $17,000 and we still have one more to sell. Wow, that is nice and profitable. $18,500. Cannot complain about that, can you? All right, so I didn't misunderstand. It is right here. I can't read it, so. I got six more to go. Whew. That sounds like a lot. There's an Audi. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves our second cultiv uh, cultivate mulcher. All right, and we've got our big tractors working big time. get rid of this because we don't need you to harass us looks like we need to put lime on some of it which is fine all right i'll let him do the work This is one way where you clean the edge of the field as well. I love it. Look at that. So he's completely cleaning up the grass that normally grows on the side of my field. So we learn something new every day. You want to clean up the edges of your field, just get the mulcher and start going around your fields. That's fantastic. See, that's one way where the worker is doing some work that you're actually not paying him to do. Us now set us a place. Let your kingdom come, let your name be raised. Hear the song of the redeemed. Be exalted as we see.
bright morning star, King of all days, reign in our hearts and bright on our praise. You are crowned in majesty. Awaken us now, set us ablaze. Let your kingdom come. Let your name be raised, hear the song of the redeemed, be exalted. So I spent quite a bit of money, uh, believe it or not, I already thought I recorded this. I was sitting having a chat to myself <laughs> and then I realized that I did not press record. But anyway, I uh, updated our uh, disk purely because obviously, let me just fix this because I don't like this, the fact that he's missing a little bit here and there. So we'll back him up. and. We'll back him up, put him down, and let's take him so he does all the job, not just... I'd rather that he overlaps a little bit like this. Yeah, so I upgraded the disc arrow to the almost uh, the second largest one. That's why we're so low on cash uh, from where we were. And uh, I have not checked on the l on the ship to see if they need anything. Okay, how about we do this here as well, like what we did at the other end? We get ourselves into a bit of a, a safety buffer zone for the, for him to be able to turn around and not get stuck in traffic and all that sort of nonsense. And we will turn you around. And that way, hopefully, it will mean that you should be able to, the worker should be able to do this without any issues whatsoever. What do you reckon? Yeah, so I updated that. Since we bought this tractor, we spent the money on getting these such massive tractors. I thought, you know what? Let's just buy it. Uh, now, 
we do need to stop doing this, obviously. Well, I need to stop doing this. Because I make money and then immediately spend it. But spend it on stuff that's not really necessary. Um, and yeah, then I find myself that I knock like <laughs> I found myself that I don't have a combine when I thought ah oh, that's okay we'll start harvesting it's like whoa what are we harvesting with I don't have a combine so we definitely need to be a lot more cautious when it comes to spending money um, and we will be from now on having said that I'll go to sleep right because when uh, where are we so we can't plant anything for two days so you can see I'll go to sleep and then what's going to happen is something awesome is going to be in the shop and then I'm going to get into more debt to show it to you but we will do our best to try and not do that anymore we do need a truck and we do need a header for our um, beetroot harvester sleep and wake up tomorrow morning fresh and something awesome in the used vehicle oh raining <sighs> whoa leasing costs what did i lease i don't remember leasing anything what are you talking about i haven't got anything on lease oh we got a truck and we got this little but we have a truck i wonder if it's big enough for what we want the day cab so it's kind of that isn't it Now, I did say that we're not going to buy any more stuff, but we do need that. And we're down to very little money. Grass is growing again. We need that for this, for the trailers. But keep in mind that both of these things didn't cost us as much. as probably just one of them alone would have cost us. Paid about one hundred thirty thousand dollars for for the pair. Just out of curiosity, how much is that truck? Okay, so if we got it like this with a so there's one hundred twenty-three thousand dollars just in there. Okay, maybe a little bit less because I didn't get that. Uh, now this is going to be obviously very useful when it comes to uh, harvesting a beetroot. Because we are going to need something that's going to be a large capacity. And this is the largest capacity, I believe, in the game that we can get. Now, finding somewhere to park it, it's a different story. Well, where did I get stuck? In my own fence. Okay, stop whinging. You can tell that someone at Giants is not a very patient driver since the way they've designed this. Very quickly the cars behind you wing and minor. Oh, get off the road you slow coach. So the only place that I can park it as far as I can tell is this one over here. This little bit over here. Because we definitely don't want to be in the road type of thing. So I'm going to maybe look for some... Let's do a bit of a cleanup. I think we're kind of all over the place here. How about we send you where you belong? Create job, create job. And you go, go to over here. Tiger is unreachable. What are you talking about? Alright, I'll do a bit of a cleanup and come back since it seems that we're gonna have issues with this guy not wanting to go where he's told to go. Okay, I bet you any money what I did. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I'm thinking, where did, where did that track to go? The red one wouldn't go where I told him, so he just went there and parked himself, as you saw, just there. 
but that's because even though I was in the red one setting up the job, for whatever reason, the T9, which is this one over here, is the one that wanted to go all the way to China over up north there. Which obviously wasn't my intended plan. You sit here and finish the job that you are paid to do. It's alright. Oh, no, no, he's going all the way to the end and turning around. Oh, that's a smart man. Okay, let's see him turn around, hey? Alright, good, good. See, this is where this guy stopped. Okay, let's go sell the eggs, because I believe... Uh, you know, we got a bit of cash sitting there for no reason. Most of my mods, uh, either of modland.net, or modhub.us so um, you could find all of those mods every mod that I see whoa ah come on no I don't like you I don't like you okay Now I realize that that's not realistic. Well, if you're Superman, is realistic, but other than that, it's not realistic. So yeah, it, amazing. Not one egg got broken. Okay, I like this rock collector because obviously, as you can see, it does have quite a lot larger uh, collecting range. Uh, now I know some people might say it's unrealistic, but then you know it's the only way that I would ever continuously pick up rocks because otherwise it just takes too long uh, even this uh, when you have like big fields like this it takes too long especially since the worker does not recognize the width so if you put it on a worker he still the worker still thinks that it's just a normal whatever five or six meters whatever it is now I wanted to do it here because uh, there were rocks that were supposedly in this part of the field and uh, they kind of bug me when I see them. So because of that, I said, I'll come and collect the rocks. There is no rocks on that side, so we don't have any issues on that side. Um, I'm not sure if I get any benefits from this. Now, it, it is going to be a bit annoying because now I'm going to have sort of like patchy co uh, crops. But again, not an issue. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, just curious to see if I can see these rocks. Now, I don't need to do this, and I am aware of that, that I don't need to do this. Uh, because, uh, but I want to waste this. It's starting to just be, uh, is it fertilizing it? Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to do the rolling at the end. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, it's just bugging me. I want to have so much uh, empty, can I empty vehicle? Okay. 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 Beautiful. I realized that I paid for it, but I I can't stand mess. It bugs me mess. So because of that, I'm just gonna empty it. Uh, we're gonna forget the loss of the money. Not that big. Not that big of a deal. And uh, yeah, fill it up from what we have in there. And. Fill all this up again, and hopefully, if there's too much, I'll empty it again. All right, so where are we? Okay, we can plant canola. Uh, okay, we'll do it this way for a little bit. And you know why, because I don't want him to get stuck on the buildings. And now he should make it 100% fertilized. What? It doesn't. Well, that's strange. Okay. 
is it using the fertilizer or not? It is. Ah, well, whatever. Doesn't bother me. I think I should have fertilized, then disked and all that. And then I, the second fertilization that's happening right now would have caught on. But because I didn't, it does not catch on by the looks of it. So it's fine. Not an issue at all. All right. Once it gets to the other end, we'll go make him go up and down instead of sideways. Those Christmas trees do look good. So we're going to let them be until the real New Year is in the real world. All right, you have seen me plant this a thousand times, exaggerated, of course. So I won't uh, put you through it. Uh, I'll uh, leave this episode here. Uh, obviously, I'll let the worker finish uh, his work until he plants this entire field. And uh, I will see you on the next episode where hopefully we will be ready to harvest our beets over here. So again, thank you very much for watching. You be kind to each other as always. God bless you. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. And uh, as always, be kind to each other. God bless you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.